I'm John Plunkett at the Cannes Lion Advertising Festival and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Shazam Chief Executive Rich Riley. Rich, thanks for coming. How are you? Great to be here. Doing, doing very well. Tell us all about Shazam. Where are you right now? So Shazam is, uh, currently has over 325 million users around the world. We're very excited. We just released a new iPad app, just released a new uh, update to our um, iPhone application just this week. And so we're adding about 10 million users every month and continuing to add more and more music functionality and increasingly enabling people to Shazam their TVs. Well, I know you most as a, as a uh, device I use to recognize music that I'm, I'm too old to know yes. uh, for, firsthand. Uh, but you mentioned TV there. How, how are you getting into the TV arena? We recognize about 10 million different songs every day, people actually pushing the Shazam button for music identification. And what we've seen is, is people wanting to Shazam their TV for the music that's on the TV, and increasingly, and one of the reasons we're, we're here in, in Cannes talking to advertisers is, what about making TV ads Shazamable? And so we've been, we've been at this for, for some time. We've done over 250 campaigns so far for over 150 advertisers. And what we found is that users want to engage with TV ads, and Shazam's a great way to do that. They've already got the app. It's one of the most popular apps of all time. They push the button and they get a customized experience that lets them engage with that brand, engage with that product experience. And, um, and we're really excited to be talking to more and more advertisers about doing more and more creative things. And engaging with ads seems to go against the grain at a time when people uh, you know, skip through on their, on their PVRs and just get back to their favorite show. Yep. So how do you encourage to stop them? What, what's the benefit? What are they getting back by taking exactly. the time out to, to Shazam the ad? Exactly. Well, one, we make it very clear that the ad is Shazamable. And then the, there's got to be something in it for the consumer. And so, for example, one we're running right now with Jaguar, um, it's the new F-Series, you watch the commercial, and if you want, you Shazam, and then the result that you receive lets you go inside the car, do a 360-degree tour, rev the engine, and, and really an immersive automotive experience for the consumers who wanted to engage with that ad. We also do things like mobile couponing, where you could Shazam the ad to get a discount in the store. We can do things like music tracks, um, additional content, all sorts of things that a consumer might want that would be relative to engaging with that TV ad. But you're absolutely right, it's got to be something in it for the consumer. And a float next year? Well, our ambition is certainly to, uh, to go public um, in the not too distant future. So we don't have a specific time period on that yet, but we think that's a, a, a fantastic goal for the company and something we're racing against. Okay, Rich Riley from Shazam. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.